Hello, my name is uh, Willard uh, Vandy Bogart, and this is another video that I'm doing on uh, December 21st, 2020, and uh, I like to play uh, a lot of electronic music and sounds, so uh, I'm going to be talking about sound a little bit, as well as my own personal cosmology uh, mixed with some philosophy. Uh, introducing, uh, to start, I'm playing, uh, you know, a Indian instrument called Aishala. And uh, I picked a particular raga uh, for the video. And I'm also playing uh, some Tibetan bells uh, in the background. So you have uh, a couple of different cyclical kinds of uh, sounds that uh, I believe that are representative of sound in the universe as well. I also have another instrument that I, I'd like to introduce to you. It's a uh, it's called a, an amino acid uh, synthesizer developed by uh, the folks out at MIT with Dr. Marcus Bueller, and it has the sounds of the uh, 20 amino acids uh, that have been recorded as a result of using uh, very sophisticated uh, you know atomic uh, microscopes that can come down and look at the very molecular structure of the amino acids. But I think that <clears throat> the thing I'm really interested in is this alignment that's coming up and the nature of that alignment. And one of the, uh, I think, uh, things I would sort of mention is wind. I'd like to mention the wind. And if you have a the wind blowing uh, and you have a sailboat, the, the wind sort of pushes it up against the sail and naturally the boat just uh, moves very nicely and uh, there's many other different kinds of winds besides the winds that we have on our own planet we have the solar wind and these are these uh, corona cmes they're called these corona mass ejections that push out these uh, electromagnetic waves and they impact on the planet around the magnetic poles and uh, affect us in a, in a different way electromagnetically. And then there's also, uh, you could call it a wind, but you have these gravitational uh, fields that are moving, and we've discovered, recent discovery shows that there are these uh, gravitational waves that uh, move into the universe, move throughout the universe. So the picture on the far right uh, with the subatomic uh, animation shows this uh, movement that's going on. So you could think of <clears throat> these movements that are also going on uh, internally like throughout every uh, structure of your body. And <clears throat> every perturbation and every sort of like impact of these forces changes uh, the way we think and uh, the way we feel and uh, those are, the, those are really important kind of elements to think about as we go into 2020 and especially December 21st. So I, I'm trying to uh, indicate that you can feel um, the changes that are, are about to happen more so than probably at any other time because there's a lot of uh, celestial movement going on. So it, I am is suggesting that the celestial movement of the heavens and how our, our mind and bodies respond to that uh, are real. And uh, the other element that to take into consideration is that consciousness is real in the universe. So we have uh, this uh, combination of uh, ourselves uh, with the universe in consciousness. So we kind of like very responsive to all of these uh, different forces that we have uh, in the universe. The other thing that's very, very interesting about this time, uh, besides it being a, a factual uh, type of event, it's also been recorded uh, in the ancient uh, Vedic uh, poem, the Mahabharata, with the Kurukshetra War. And uh, they mention the, uh, the, the Saturn, Jupiter-Saturn conjunction. And it's also a part of a yuga cycle. So we're, where we are in the uh, Hindu yuga cycle. This is very, very important because 
the timing that's going on right now with this particular time that we are in the the part of the yuga cycle called the dwapara cycle and it's it's ascending so it's going into the tetra yuga so the tetra yuga is you know a much more uh, a higher what well, they call a higher but a much more sensitive uh, mind uh, that responds to things differently has more receptors and more uh, abilities to sense changes and affecting how we emerge uh, through the whole uh, 25,920 years it takes the the procession of the equinoxes to go around. But at this particular time, it's right in the uh, Duwapara uh, Yuga cycle. And at the same time, this particular time, there's a very uh, energetic uh, kind of... Uh, place on that cycle uh, that is very uh, mental, I would say, and it's very, it gives um, I, more ideas, uh, innovation comes about, but we we're also dragging with us the, the Kali Yuga uh, part of that cycle, which is behind us. So also moving into the Aquarian uh, cycle as well. So there's a, there's a lot of change at this time. So knowing these are kind of like uh, things that you can be aware of. So what would you do, uh, you know, what you can do is kind of realize that this movement that is going on with all these uh, forces in the universe are also impacting the way uh, we are thinking. So my idea is that if we kind of have a response, uh, finding a way that we can um, do something that actually allows us to respond uh, to the way the forces inside of us are causing us to change. I mean, they're very, very subtle. Uh, it could be uh, the inflection of a voice and song. It could be uh, a different kind of mantra. It could be a different form of expression in poetry, connecting mind and sound with the voice. And it could be actually making uh, different sounds that reflect um, these kinds of changes that are taking uh, place celestially. So we live in this uh, celestial environment where there are many, many, many changes. So I've gone out of my way uh, to explore the sounds that are coming out of our bodies. So <clears throat> the, uh, the little amino acid synthesizer is a small synthesizer but you can touch each one of the 20 amino acids and you can arrange them in any way you want. So every time, like when you look at the quark field, that's a, those, those are supposedly, I, I like it because they, they call them quarks. But you, call, you also realize that the, the protein structures that are in our minds are also moving very rapidly. So everything is in a what they call a flux situation. There's a lot of change going on. So what you do is you try to respond creatively um, with the changes. The idea is to loosen uh, up your, re your receptivity uh, to a moment that is, is coming rather than, say, uh, looking at the many changes that are going on in the secular world with the, uh, the upheavals, the, the social uh, uh, destruction that's going on with uh, <clears throat> uh, social systems, uh, the present political structure in many, many countries, and I don't want to single out any, but we can, we can see that there's, there's a lot of disharmony that's going on, a lot of change that's going on. And at the same time, there's a lot of uh, innovation uh, going on. So I'd like to concentrate on that, on that innovation. And where that innovation comes from is from an idea. So supposing I touch various things like that, and I kind of like play the different sounds. So each thought that we have goes along with the sound. We, we don't know exactly what that thought may be, but we know we have, like we have in the far right, we know that we have a, a fluid a field of many different kinds of sounds. And when the gravitational forces of nature uh, affect us, or uh, the solar winds affect us, or when the magnetic core of the Earth 
uh, pushes up against the, the mantle, the, the piezoelectric energy that comes out of all the quartz crystals affects us. I, I know myself, I'm very, very, very sensitive to uh, earthquakes. I've lived in San Francisco for a long, long time, in Los Angeles as well. And every time there's an earthquake, I can feel it before it, before it comes. And the animals can too. Uh, living in Thailand, uh, uh, the tsunami that came to Thailand. All the animals ran to the hills, but all the people, the, the poor people didn't know what was going to happen. So over 30,000 people had lost their lives, but all the animals flew away or ran away on high ground. So there's an attunement that nature, uh, the animal's kingdom has that we don't have. So what I'm trying to suggest that to be sensitive to changes, which I believe that are coming our way. And one of the ways to, to do that is um, try to be creative uh, with uh, anything that you can respond to your own mind without actually thinking about um, whether you're trying to please somebody or you're trying to uh, recreate a melody or you're trying to make a, a, a song about uh, your life or this is a different kind of expression. Uh, it's an expression that comes out of um, the, the, the primordial energy that's actually in the universe at, as itself, and we live in that. So being conscious uh, in the universe is being responsive uh, to that uh, universe and knowing the time cycles. I mean, it takes like, um, it takes 250 million years for the, the solar system to revolve around the center of our own galaxy, which is a very long time. And each, each portion of, of the movement changes our relationship to celestial bodies. So now we are having a, a strong a wave of uh, gravitational waves that are as a result of the impact of uh, the bodies lining up in a certain way, and they're lining up in a certain way in relationship to the position on the great uh, year, which is 20, 25,920 years. So we're, we're at that particular point too. So it's so what I'm suggesting is that you be aware or, or knowledgeable about where where you are in the movement with the rest of the universe was well, specifically with our own solar system and then uh, with that you take on um, some other cosmological uh, explorations uh, you may want to have a, a new cosmology a consciousness cosmology in the universe and uh, you may also want to uh, sort of emulate the, uh, what the Yuga Cycles are saying. Uh, if you read the Vedas, um, you see that this, this particular moment in time, there's sort of like um, a new type of energy, but that's very vague, isn't it? When I say energy, I mean, what type of energy would I really be referring to? Uh, you could say emotional energy, but how much do you know about uh, going into the self and how the self, this ourselves are responding to this. I mean, how would you be able to um, make an expression uh, of that of that change in that energy? So this is an opportunity, uh, as been told by, I mean, I, I've listened to quite a lot of the, uh, the gurus of India. Satguru is one. And uh, Satguru talks, talks quite a lot about the yuga cycles. But uh, he, he has mentioned that uh, it's an opportunity to lay a foundation uh, of our own consciousness at this point. I mean, using it as a as a as a foundation uh, going forward into time. So, the ideas that we have are those are the things I'm I'm really suggesting. So anyway, um, if we get uh, some instruments, and the last time I think I showed you uh, an electronic synthesizer, and these are just you can hear these different sounds. And every time you hear uh, one of these sounds, you're hearing the sound of an amino acid. And then you look over and see 
all the movement uh, that you see over there, each movement is a sound. So even the uh, the amino acids when they when they fold, you know, an amino there's 20 amino acids, but when they make a protein, they have to they have to fold and they fold into a particular protein that makes life. And where does that folding come from? Where you're looking at the folding patterns uh, with the quark fields. So all this energy that's flowing through the universe is is doing the same thing in our own minds by sending out sounds to move the molecular structure of the protein to create our own bodies. And in that, there is knowledge and there's a sort of like ability to be responsive to that knowledge. It's sort of like you create a whole new uh, relationship uh, with yourself and going into um, the time that we're coming into. So we have time. I mean, this is this is October in my world. It's uh, October uh, 11th. So being October 11th I, or 12th, I think October 12th, I know that I, I have a couple months before I'm going to reach uh, that point. But as, as the celestial bodies are moving uh, closer to that, the energy is going to increase as well. So I think it's important that um, you take a note, <laughs> uh, you make a sound, uh, you speak some uh, ideas that you may not have had, and you listen to your own inner self and see what your own inner self is doing. This is what I'm suggesting. I'm just uh, making uh, sort of like a, uh, a presentation on how I'm trying to use sound and relationship to the the energy fields uh, that I'm living in. We're all we're all living in that field. I think uh, we're all realizing the kind of energy that exists uh, in social systems, especially in uh, the United States right now. And it's normal. It's not normal, but it's 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 ongoing around the world. We can contribute with a new idea for that, uh, a new action that, that can take place that we can do that. But I like the creativity aspect. Um, essentially, what kind of a a creative moment uh, can we have for ourselves? And I think that's quite important to have a to create it. You know, the the aha principle. Aha! Uh, I have an idea, and I I think there are going to be many ahas. Uh, coming uh, between now and December 21st, 2012. So what happens when uh, there is kind of like uh, that kind of like feeling that comes into uh, an idea? That's the key thing that I'm so very interested in. And I'm, I'm, I'm just sharing uh, my feelings with you so that you can hear me say, well, I think we can be, I'm trying to be sensitive to my own nature. I mean, I'm not completely understanding of what my whole nature is, uh, but I know um, I am a body in the universe, and I believe in that, and I believe that I'm affected uh, by the universe. So, and I also think that I'm, I, I think with the universe. So, I mean, there's certain kind of like precepts, you know, conditions, preconditions that you probably might want to hold on to, or the ones you have are completely in alignment with what I'm, what I'm saying now. Um, and that's that's a good thing, uh, and that's an affirmation for you, and for someone that maybe hasn't thought about that. I mean, what what would a person do on December twenty first solstice? I mean, just a day, another day, <clears throat> and it really isn't another day. That's that's the point. It's not another day. It's a well, it is another day, but it's a different kind of another day. That's kind of like uh, it's a different kind of another day. So I'm preparing for that day through writing, through uh, expressing ourselves now with the technology that we have uh, to be able to, I'm just here in a room uh, talking and then I'm going to put it on YouTube and you don't, I don't know who's going to watch it, maybe nobody, but it's, a, it's the opportunity. Uh, since we've been uh, confined to our quarters, all of a sudden we have this technology that we've never really used as much as we have before. Um, and it's a way to share these ideas. So I think I'll, I'm not going to talk too much. I've repeated myself a little bit, but it's to make, to make emphasis uh, what I'm really trying to say. 
And I have another video on uh, on YouTube under my name, Willard uh, Van de Bogart, so you could actually look at that as well. I'll try to do some more different kinds of things. I, I'm preparing to go to the Yucatan to, to play the sounds there because that's where the Maya, you know, did their long count. And we don't know exactly what kind of music they had, but there's different kinds of, you know, uh, consciousness music in the Andes with all the different kinds of whistles. And I'm, I'm sure all that impacted uh, the Mayan culture as well, as it has Egypt and Greece. And many of the ancient cultures had very unique kinds of sounds. Today, uh, we make sounds with uh, protein synthesizers, uh, many different kinds of synthesizers that have different kinds of frequencies. And um, I think... Uh, I think that's kind of like what I wanted to say. But again, if you get yourself a little uh, amino acid synthesizer, uh, you can just, you can hear an amino acid uh, sound. And you can mix that with some other sounds. So you can have a, a good time mixing sounds. That's kind of like I'm combining uh, sound and cosmology and consciousness. So I, 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 uh, I let you decide how, how you might want to uh, combine your own inner, your inner energies, your, 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 the things you love to do, and combine that with consciousness and knowing that you're a part of the universe. Okay, so that's a, kind of another, uh, another video uh, about my ideas, and uh, I hope you enjoyed them. I, I, I like to do it. Uh, I hope you find it of interest, and I'll try to do another one for you. Okay? So thank you very much.